Hello. So let's say you're trying to make a screencast for someone. That is, you are going to uh, essentially take a video of what your uh, screen is doing, and you're going to comment over it using your microphone. But you also want to, um, you know, say uh, have your system audio gun. Let's say you want to comment on Here's this video. Idea. At the intersection of Taoism and YOLO, you'll find. Nicholas Cage. What? On this, the 15 year, anyway. two month, and nine year um, anniversary of the theatrical release of Con Air. So, actually, that's a pretty cool channel, the Idea Channel. Um, so, let's say you want to do that, or maybe you just want to have background music going while you're uh, doing it, and you maybe you don't know how to uh, put together an iMovie, or you really don't want to, or the point is, is that you want to have both system audio and your microphone as audio inputs uh, for the screencast. So, uh, I, I couldn't find very many uh, good tutorials and I honestly um, was able to kind of cobble this together from a multitude of different sources. So, you will need a, uh, a uh, little um, program. It's called Soundflower. Um, I'll put a link in the description. It's really easy. Just download it. Um, by the way, this whole thing is for Mac. So Windows, I'm sure you can find something for it, but this is uh, Mac. Um, I've got Mountain Line running. Okay, so you get Soundflower. Uh, make sure it's running. So, you know, soundflowerbed.app. All right, so it's going put on a uh, built-in output. Now, we're going to uh, start um, uh, making um, our aggregate device. So, go audio setup. Uh, now, you notice it's called audio MIDI setup. So, this is actually something that's built in, I believe, to the operating system. Um, what you want to do is, initially, um, you'll just have built-in mic, uh, built-in input, and any other inputs and outputs that you may have connected. And then Soundflower once you get that installed. Uh, don't mess with any of these things unless you know exactly what you're doing. And if you do, then you don't need this schmuck telling you what to uh, how to do this. So you want to build an aggregate device. So go to the little plus here. Create aggregate device. Okay. Notice there's all these icons here. So don't worry. Uh, uh, you'll eventually get them there. Um, you want to check built-in mic, built-in output, Soundflower 2 channel. Uh, this, the built-in mic automatically gets some drift correction. Yes, leave it as is. It's fine. Um, these won't show up there. That's okay. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go to your system preferences. Sound. Now, uh, let's start with the input. Um, you want to select aggregate device. All right. Now, I'm going to show up for a second and then let's let the music play for a little bit. All right, the music's a little bit soft, but you get the idea. The, the system, um, here, I'll just. We thought it was as good a time as any to celebrate Nicolas Cage. Whether because it's always a good time to celebrate Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, that's one of my favorite videos of that, along with the Brony video. So, input level needs to uh, be uh, for both the system and your mic. If it's not doing that, you're doing something wrong. Uh, so, input, aggregate device. Output, aggregate device. Once you do that, then I'd say do the output first and the input um, to make sure that it's all together like that. Soundflower, just keep it on built-in output. Otherwise, you're going to get some echo if you put on aggregate device. Okay, so, got that all checked in. If you have this uh, up, you'll notice uh, that these will change around as you click all these different ones. I'm not going to click it because I actually am recording. Um, so, anyway, then what you're going to do next is you're going to open up QuickTime. So, QuickTime Player. Go file, 
new screen recording. I'm already recording the screen, so I can't click on it. Um, then a little box will pop up. Um, you'll go to the little um, drop down menu and it opens up here and you can see this. You want to select aggregate device. All right, sense of theme going on here. Um, then once again, you'll notice that there will be kind of like here, the input uh, little level meter. Um, just check to make sure it's both system sound and your own mic voice uh, that are uh, providing um, input into it. If not, again, you're going to have to mess around with things to make sure that you get it just right. So then you just start recording. Um, note, this did not take any fancy schmancy software, just um, a free, small little bit of software, uh, Soundflower. Uh, the link is in the description. And then just using QuickTime and, and playing around with the settings to get it right. Um, so hopefully this can help you make your own screencasts and uh, leave uh, some comments to uh, let me know if uh, this was actually useful or if this was something that really only worked on my system. Um, uh, link, subscribe, uh, etc, etc. Um, and let me know if uh, you want to see any more uh, of these uh, type of videos. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day.